Hello YouTubers out there, this is Jerry Sadevi at the Movies. <clears throat> so of course I'm going to discuss very briefly the trailer to Halloween. I don't do trailer reactions, so uh, in terms of actually watching a trailer and reacting to it at the same time. This new Halloween film uh, disregards all the sequels. Everyone, uh, of course, it disregards the Rob Zombie uh, remake and its own sequel, which is fine. Um, but it disregards all the sequels from Halloween 2 in 1981 all the way up until Halloween Resurrection, which was the last one that came out in 2002, uh, before things changed with uh, these new movies. So, um, Jamie Lee Curtis is back. She plays Laurie Strode, of course, and uh, she is after Michael because she wants to kill him. And uh, supposedly Michael Myers, who was shot six times by Dr. Loomis, played by Donald Pleasance in the original film, was captured by the police and kept uh, has been in captivity for 40 years. And so now um, he is in the institution. He is still being held there. Uh, <clears throat> now, watching this trailer, uh, there is a, a level of intensity to it. I, I like the look of it, in particular the institution itself, which is, uh, it looks like almost a chessboard. Uh, red and white squares uh, in the outside of the institution where the patients are allowed to roam free. Um, the trailer that uh, Michael Myers is not in fact related whatsoever to Laurie Strode, which was something the sequel, Halloween 2, made clear uh, why Michael Myers was after Laurie Strode in the first place. Um, and there you have it, and there are a couple of jump scares and so on. So there's an intensity to it. Uh, now, I've seen all the Halloween movies. I've, uh, with the exception of Halloween 2, I never really cared for most of the sequels. Um, although there was certainly some elements of H20. Halloween H20 that came out that was that would have been the eighth uh, the seventh Halloween sequel um, that came out in uh, 1998 so that was to celebrate 20 years of Halloween and John Carpenter was not involved John Carpenter is involved in this one uh, it seems to me as executive producer he might have had some input into the story as I said there's some jump scares I like the when he's grabbing the door of the uh, bathroom at some gas station, which seems to recall a little bit a similar moment from age 20, which was a uh, rest area with a bathroom. Um, so I kind of like that. Uh, but I guess the, the issue for me with this movie is that it seems to be treading almost the same ground as age 20. <clears throat> so he's, he's after Laurie Strode, Supposedly, is he? I, I don't know. We don't. We don't really know the the basis for his reappearance in this movie. Um, but uh, there is a feverish intensity to it, to a certain extent. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, really. I, I, I'm hoping for the best, but you know, I, I'm sure it's going to be at least some, you know halfway decent. But this is what I thought of H20. It's really hard to beat the original. The original 1978 film, directed by John Carpenter, it was so new at the time. It was originally called The Babysitter Murders, and this was going to focus, uh, it, it seems at first it's like a, a, a thriller with you know some escape mental patient who goes nuts and starts killing babysitters and you don't know why he's doing this. Um, <clears throat> But it was, it was so well made, and that ending was so new for its time, that it's really hard to then go back and do a direct sequel to that movie and think that you're, you're going to do it better. Uh, of course they might. That's all i got to say about that. And this is Jerry Saravia at the Movies, signing off.